All right, what's a barbecue without drinks to enjoy with the food? Certified sommelier Stephanie Miskew back to tell us the fabulous finds for the fourth. Thanks for being here. Happy Fourth of July. It's great to be back. Same to you. Oh, well, love the display that we have here today. Thank Talk you. a little bit about some of the best wines, people getting ready for a barbecue this afternoon that they should have with them. Of course. These wines are great for Fourth of July and they'll take you all through the summer. Awesome. They're fabulous finds and they're all $15 or less. Oh, that's great. So we have a little something for everybody. Since it's Fourth of July, we had to start with a sparkler. The Mianetto Prosecco is fabulous. Light, crisp, refreshing, and it's also perfect for using to make mimosas or bellinis at $12 a bottle. You can't beat it. Really it's versatile fantastic. there. Fantastic. Very versatile. Uh, as for whites, we really love the Pomelo uh, Sauvignon Blanc from California. It is tart and delicious. It also made Wine Spectator's top 100 wines right. list of two, 2015. So for $12 a bottle, again, you don't have to spend a ton of money to find a great wine. Um, for our other white, we have the Kim Crawford Unoaked Chardonnay for Chardonnay fans. This summer, try an unoaked version. Oak adds a layer of heaviness and complexity. So without that, the wine is just crisp, refreshing, and fruity, and just fabulous. And of course, if there's one wine you have to try this summer, it is rosé. Embrace the rosé, drink Embrace pink, it. you got it. And I, of course, I mean a dry style rosé okay. from Provence. Uh, it's just lovely, and we love this Domaine Fontenil at $15 a bottle. You can't beat it. It's fabulous. And for our great. red wine lovers, we haven't forgotten you. We have a delicious find from Spain, the Juan Gil Monastrel from Humilla, Spain. Awesome. Uh, Monastrel is beautiful dark fruit notes, and it's a little earthy, fabulous, velvety finish. And then the Yolumba Y Series uh, Shiraz Viognier Blend from Australia. The Viognier is a white grape, so when you blend it with red, mm -hmm. it takes off the edge of the tannins and just makes it fruity awesome. and delicious and perfect for summer. So it's yeah. good that you have a lot of different different choices yes. with a lot of different things you might have at your barbecue, but we yeah. do know today, I know Glenn's been talking about it, it is oh, hot yeah. yes. out there today. So maybe some tips. What do we have here in terms of, of keeping your wine chilled, especially when you think of something like a rosé without having to put maybe ice cubes? Of in course. Glass. We all know that. You add ice cubes and a half an hour later, you've got a watered down glass of wine. So what I like to do is you just add some frozen grapes. Oh, this is great. You add frozen grapes. There's your rosé. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, little rosé. Yeah, yes. Wonderful. And you can do it with red wine, too. We have some frozen red grapes, too. Because, I mean, room temperature red wine isn't, you know, or 85 degree red wine isn't a whole bunch of fun either. So just use different grapes, and that's fine. So, again, at the end of your glass, you have a little snack. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, just a quick tip on in terms of discovering value sure. wines, because everything you're talking about here less than $20. Yes, less than $20. Great finds. On the whole, you want to look for regions that maybe aren't that well known, for instance, the Humilla region of Spain, and or grapes that aren't that people aren't that familiar with, like the Shiraz Viognier blend from Australia. That's where you're going to find your values. But again, all of these represent great values. Awesome. So. Well, Stephanie, thank sure. you so much for coming in. And you can find uh, more of these great deals, all these wines we've been talking about, right on Stephanie's website. You can see it there at the bottom of our screen. But